Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's episode of Talking Points. I'm your host, Syed Niaz Ahmed. As usual, we have a guest in our studios, and we are going to talk about nature and the awareness of the environmental balance. When God created in his infinite mercy the entire universe, he also created a world of mankind, animals, flora, fauna, heat, energy, light, and everything was in order. There was a balance. But man, in his greed, has upset the balance. We are going to talk about this environmental balance that is necessary. And in that connection, our guest today, Lisa Ghazi. She is a writer and also an actor. And uh, her Kamala Collective is going to, or rather, is doing right now, uh, all over the country, showing a theatrical uh, drama event or, or, or a storytelling uh, that is supposed to, that is geared to increase the awareness about the environment, particularly our beloved Sundarbans in Bangladesh. Welcome to the show, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Okay. How it are you? A, not too bad. It was a rush of thing for you today after the show. Yes, <laughs> it was quite stressful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. We, I'm here. Uh, but the people in media, they produce their best when they are under stress. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Lisa, I, I see that you are a writer and a producer and a lyricist. Uh, Gee. And uh, you're also an actor. Yes. Uh, you're a founding member of Kamala Collective. You have been associated with Akram Khan Company, Gee. BBC, Tar Arts, uh, Facefront Target Theatre and also the concept developer for this Daughter of the Forest uh, Theatre. Uh, what brings you to the theatre world? Uh, what brings me? To, um, it, it, I have to go... Um, you have to take a step backwards, yes. Absolutely, um, in Bangladesh. I used to be um, um, associated with and, and used to work with the Nagarik Natya mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. very uh, a pioneer theatre group in Bangladesh. Um, I started there very early, a uh, early age <laughs> and, um, and like um, back then there was no uh, theatre drama school in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. we used to do, we used to be associated uh, with one theatre company and then you know see the um, every day go, go to the rehearsal process and uh, we actually um, used to do everything, uh, sweeping the floor to you know making teas and mm -hmm. uh, and and then uh, and then um, you know you need to see the rehearsal process you need to see how theater comes mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. and then um, if you're lucky <laughs> you get a chance was to it like an on job perform. training it's an on job training absolutely absolutely and it it has both sides you know um, pros and cons um, I, I think that the best thing is it breaks the ego mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think it's very important because theatre is such a process. It's a teamwork. Right. If you think e, um, I want to be good, you cannot be you cannot be no, good mediocre. on your own. There's mm -hmm. no way. Mm -hmm. Theatre, you have to be. It's a collective. Uh, absolutely. So that's why I think it's a very good way to do it. Yes. I think. <laughs> and when you came over to UK, G you thought of doing the same thing. Yes. Absolutely, because I think that theatre is, is kind of an addiction. Mm -hmm. If you have that in blood, you right. cannot not do it. So when I came here uh, to the UK in 1999, um, I thought that, that that's over. You know, yeah. I used to do Bangla theatre. Um, um, I, I don't speak English and I didn't have the confidence that I would be able to you know, uh, to able to work in the theatre industry, mm -hmm. you know, mainstream mm -hmm. theatre industry in the UK. So, um, so, but, um, but I was very fortunate that uh, I started my career again here mm -hmm. as a, mm, as but a did, professional actor. Did you find actor. it very difficult? You said fortunate, yes, but did you find it very difficult to uh, make a dent in, in the in the very very uh, what is called is protective wall of media and and theatre. I, yes, it, I, it is very, it is very um, 
very difficult because um, I, I, I don't have any drama school deg degree, if you, <laughs> if, if you like. And it, to kind of uh, m make a career here, right. um, coming from Bangladesh and uh, not knowing the... Uh, you have the to be a member of uh, some sort of union, isn't it? No, you don't. You don't. Uh, uh, I, you, you still don't. Uh, but uh, but to come to to come to stand uh, on your own and to come to I don't know wh where people go because I, I I said I was very fortunate I I got a chance um, at Tara Arts Company mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, through a Bengali theatre director he used to uh, work there in, at Tara Arts uh, Mukul Ahmed <coughs> he uh, he gave me that opportunity to to adapt a play um, a sonata. And I performed there too, and that's, that's that was in Bengali. No, mm -hmm. that was not in Bengali. But that was the beginning. That was actually a um, uh, bilingual play, mm -hmm. and it was uh, it was created for the displacement week. Just tell me, how do you pl do a play in, <laughs> in two languages? You can actually, and it's quite nice. Um, and because it was so, you it was say so your dialogues in two languages. Yes. Yes. Uh, Predominantly in English, but you know, um, ten percent Bangla. Mm -hmm. uh, but you you kind of repeat it, and you know um, the the person you are talking <coughs> to, the way he replied to you, mm -hmm. if you say in Bangla, yeah. and the way he he or she replies to you yes in yes. English. Uh, I mean, audience can. Yes, it's the body language. Yeah, yes. That yes. So that's that's my. Oh, that's see. the beginning of my career here. Nice. Good. Uh, <coughs> what what else have you done? I mean, I know you you were the founding member of Kamala Collective. Yes. Why Kamala? Uh, is this a Kamala color? I think so. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I didn't do it intentionally, but yeah, good that <laughs> it's Kamala. Yes, it is Kamala. Why Kamala? Why Kamala? Okay. Um, I started in 2008, and then um, uh, and then we. I've, I've been working since then as, as, as an actor and a playwright. And then um, I realized one thing that the kind of theater I would like to make, it's not happening because mm -hmm. it's a profession for me. Um, I go for, uh, for an audition. If I get the job, I do that part or write that script. Right. It's a job, absolutely. Mm -hmm. so, uh, but the kind of theater I would like to make, I, I don't have the chance to make it. So uh, uh, incidentally uh, and coincidentally, it, it's a serendipity for us that four of us, the founding members of theatre, com uh, our company, uh, we came to work uh, in several theatres, plays for mm -hmm. other theatre companies. It's just sheer yeah, luck, luck, I would say. And then uh, and we, we felt that we shared the same kind of values, same kind of vision um, about theatre. Right. And then we thought that then let's let's uh, you know uh, form a theater company mm -hmm. and uh, we would uh, we want so one, one would be the writer and lyricist and the other would be the director yes and, we have and the two others would be the audience no <laughs> i uh, i'm the i'm the performer and the writer of the theater company phyllis ocean right. she she is going to come here to right. to talk about it and she's a director uh, sohini alum uh, mm. she's a m uh, musician and and vocalist she's a vocalist yes and uh, Kathleen Abbott, uh, she is the designer. So we we have all, all um, we have a very good team. And uh, how many of them are there? Four five, of us. Five, four, of them. four. Four of us, the founding member. And uh, Komala, why Komala? You you asked Komala because I think that Komala is the most uh, one of the most common uh, female women's name in in South Asia. And mm -hmm. again, Komala means orange. It's orange. a very vibrant color. Yeah, and orange is flame and and we kind sunshine. of uh, sunshine, and we kind of uh, associate uh, associate with it this color, with 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 the spirit, the flame, flame energy, spirit of women. Yeah, and we we wanted to s uh, tell story that often go untold. Uh, we want to tell stories from women's perspectives. Mm -hmm. uh, great. Uh, this uh, daughter of forest. <laughs> I, I was reading about it, and, and I just this idea came to my mind. Is she like uh, Tarzan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, the jungle boy. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, girl Mowgli. Absolutely. I have a theory. But people might not like it, but I have a theory. I think that um, I think that uh, Kipling was inspired by this amazing story, Bon Bibi, mm -hmm. because it was it was written before Jungle Book, and um, and Jungle Book is about Shundarbon. Yes. So that's my theory. <laughs> and um, I, uh, why Bon Bibi? Why Daughter of yeah. the Forest? Because I think that this this girl, when she was a child, she was abandoned in the wood. And, and she was brought up by a dear um, family, and her ride was crocodile, and uh, her best friend was, uh, was monkeys, you know. And, and, and then what happened, then because of the sheer greed of human, uh, um, uh, the forest, nature, um, was suffering a great deal. And then the Brahmin sage, the Kin Rai, uh, bra uh, transformed himself into a tiger. Mm -hmm and started feeding on humans. His, um, his logic was that that is the toll human had to pay. The way uh, they are uh, treating the nature, the way they were destroying the nature, that, that's the toll they ha have to pay. And, and that's why he... If there's not enough food for the tiger, yeah. uh, then uh, tiger would go towards uh, <coughs> population and try to eat something, isn't it? Absolutely. So so um, that's how uh, the Dokkin um, Rai, the demon tiger, um, um, uh, you know, com comes about, and and then and, and then when it it starts its um, its um, own kind of you know atrocity, then the, then Allah call call upon mm -hmm. a Bibi. and I think this is very significant. That you know, uh, in a in a in a in a very uh, unknown, um, uh, little known writer called Abdul Rahim, who wrote this. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, bon I read somewhere that it was written in somewhere, sometime in 1800s. Yes, it's about one hundred one hundred and seventy years ago, yes. approximately. And he wrote this, and 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 and, and then this girl, this fourteen-year-old girl, uh, you know, um, tries her best to keep the balance between human and nature and and brings back the harmony and this is the story but the thing is we didn't didn't just tell the story we right. didn't want to just tell the story um, in our play daughter of the forest i'm sure you know what happened in 2014 uh, in Shund shundarbon uh, in december 9th of december that o uh, an oil tanker um, uh, was capsized and yes. 75000 gallons uh, tons of gallons of oil was spread out yes. and, and, you know, and washed away uh, Shundarbon um, uh, uh, and, and the roots of the mangrove forest were suffocated because it's, it's, it's all oiled up and it uh, um, the forest couldn't breathe and we, and, and, and we saw that how villages they didn't have anything to, to survive to kind of face that uh, catastrophe. Yeah, all, all, all kinds of the, the, and, the you know, water life was gone. Yeah, yeah and, f and we, we saw that dead fishes are ev were okay. ev everywhere. We need to take a break here and Absolutely. then when we come back we'll definitely take a boat to back to Sundarbans. Okay? Oh, sure. Thank you for being with us and uh, <coughs> we hope that uh, you're enjoying the show as much as we have. We'll take you back to the Sundarbans in a while. <coughs> 